The way Alberta is situated, there are not a significant amount of natural water bodies, and so our irrigation infrastructure is the water provider. The SMRAD is actually just celebrated its 125th anniversary, so we actually date back to 1900 from an actual formation, but even a little earlier than that, the original canal started to be dug at the U.S. border and water first arrived to Lethbridge in 1900. From that, we basically started to expand into a little bit of the Coldale area and then through some significant investment by the federal government in the 1950s, the St. Mary Reservoir was constructed, Chin Reservoir was constructed and some other main things along our key infrastructure and then water basically made its way finally to Medicine Hat in about the mid-1950s. 4.4% of the land in Alberta is irrigated, but it generates over 27% of the revenue. It's partly because you increase your yields. The more significant thing is the ability to actually allow you to grow high value crops. Uh, potatoes, for example, would never be able to grow potatoes in southern Alberta without the, uh, the irrigation. The different companies that came to uh, process Cavendish and McCain and Lamb Weston, for example, for potatoes, they all depend on consistent supply and irrigation allows that. Big project that we're working on that uh, we want to complete uh, in the next uh, three, four years is Chin Reservoir Expansion. So we're looking at moving the East Dam approximately 10 kilometers, and when we do that, that'll allow us to increase our storage in Chin Reservoir by approximately 70,000 to 100,000 acre feet. Uh, as part of that project, we also want to rehabilitate the, the outlet works on the West Dam and raise the West Dam approximately uh, eight feet. It'll allow us to have greater water security. This is where you want to be if you are in the crop production and particularly the value-added food processing because we have great facilities, great access to markets. 